In this video, we will learn what is Lambda, when to use it, when not to use it, how to create simple Lambda in AWS console and test it. Then we move to create sample Lambda project using Visual Studio 22 and .NET Core 6. We will see prerequisites and create solution, then further deploy it in AWS programmatically and then test it. Then we will set up Divework environment so that you can create breakpoints in your local system and execute Lambda function to inspect line of code or a variable of your choice. What is Lambda? Lambda is a serverless compute service provided by AWS. You can run your code without provisioning or managing infrastructure. It can automatically respond to code execution requests at any scale from a dozen events per day to hundreds of thousands per second. You can save the cost by paying only for the compute time you use by per millisecond instead of provisioning infrastructure upfront for peak capacity. So when you use Lambda, we use it for smaller functions where compute time is very less because that is where you're paying money, right? So you have to make sure when you are when you are using Lambda, that particular code execution time or the compute time is very less, okay? And Lambda integrates with other AWS services pretty well like SQS, SNS, API Gateway, etc. And very common use case is where you will set up Lambda using API Gateway to set up serverless architecture. And that is the use case which you are going to see down the line in other videos. Okay. And when not to use AWS Lambda? Uh, when your code is taking long time to run, where your computation time increases and you will be ending up paying more. Then you have a larger memory footprints, better to avoid Lambda. And when you have a code which is executed at high frequency, but with low latency, then also AWS Lambda is not suggested because you will end up paying higher costs. So I came to my AWS console. I came to Lambda service and let us create a simple Lambda function in AWS console itself and test it quickly. So we are creating a simple function, say sample Lambda hyphen net six. We are using dot net six runtime. Okay. So click, click on create function. So it created the new uh, sample uh, Lambda function that we created here. I click here and now we can test this Lambda function simply by going in the test menu and select test. Okay. We can immediately see that body is hello from Lambda and status code 200. Now, uh, what uh, one thing what we need to observe is in the code window, you can see the code editor does not support .NET 6. Uh, if you do create the same Lambda function using Node.js, what you can clearly identify is that particular source code, you can see it actually in the code source. So that is one important point. Like if you test a, a sample Lambda using .NET 3.1 or .NET 6 runtimes, inside the AWS console, you can't see that source code. Okay. Now we will create a simple Lambda function in Visual Studio 2022.NET 6.0 using AWS Lambda project templates. First, let us see the prerequisites that are needed. First, make sure to create a an user and then enable access keys for that particular user under security credentials tab. Go to access key section, click on create access key and generate one access key. Please remember to download the file. If you lose the password, only way is you can make that particular access key credentials as inactive and generate a new one. Once you created the new user, go to roles and create a role which has access to AWS Lambda with the policy name called AWS Lambda basic execution role and make sure the type is AWS managed. Okay. You will find this AWS Lambda execution basic execution role under types as AWS managed as well as customer managed. Make sure you select AWS managed only, then only the logs that you write in your code line can be verified 
in the view logs in CloudWatch. Like whenever you write something like uh, context.logger.log, whatever the log that you write there, you can directly see that log values appearing in this CloudWatch. Once the uh, user and the role are in place in IIM, make sure you install AWS CLI. Once you install AWS CLI, open the CLI and type the command AWS configure hyphen hyphen profile sample lambda profile. Okay, where the sample lambda profile is my profile name, you can provide your own. And when you enter it, you will ask for access key and password which you have created earlier in the previous step you can input here and once you input both it will ask for to set your default region select the default region as per your choice after that we'll install the aws lambda tools that are needed for us so the command for that is like dotnet tool install hyphen g which mentions that is global and amazon dot lambda dot tools okay once you execute the command it will it will install the necessary tools that are required like i have already installed so it shows for me that it is already present okay then install the aws lambda templates the version uh, uh, the latest version that is like 6.8.0 so this will give you all the latest project templates that you need to create a new lambda project individual studio 2022 so that is a command line for it .NET new hyphen hyphen install amazon dot lambda dot templates 6.8.0 now we are in our visual studio 2022 we create a new project we select lambda md function template click next forward the name sample lambda next so here you will enter the profile name that you have created using AWS CLI and also provide your region and go and create the solution. Okay, so the product solution got created and you can see here there is a demo function that got created which has a sample lambda that you can invoke. The lambda function name is function handler. All it does is what are the input value that you send. It will written the same input by converting it into uppercase now one thing what you can identify here is observe this aws lambda tools defaults.json where you have function handler it tells that the function that you want to invoke or deploy is function handler now if you want to change this function and the class name as per your choice apart from changing those names here you also have to make sure this function handler is also adjusted to match to it so, so visual studio created a simple uh, lambda function for you and what we can do is simply deploy this and test it in aws console so, so in order to deploy we can execute the command dot net lambda deploy function along with your lambda function name now where you can execute this function like if I execute here in D drive, it will throw an error. So this is the error I got, like no .NET project found in the directory, right? So you need to execute the deploy command only in the place where your Lambda source code is present. So like you have to navigate your source, your folder. In this location, you have to execute. Okay, this is where your project is there. Okay, so we go to that particular part and now execute your deploy function. You can see here now it is publishing my source code and now it is creating my lambda function. Now, when it creates the lambda function handler, this is where it is asking me to select the IIM role to associate with this particular AWS. So, if you remember in the prerequisites, we have already created one role and given the AWS miniest uh, lambda execution basic role, basic execution lamb, uh, role. So I am selecting that particular role to deploy it. Okay, now you can clearly see that the lambda function got created. So we'll go to our lambda services. Okay, here you can see here, like 10 seconds ago, this function handler got executed 
or deploy. I go here. Okay. So now you can see that hello world, the text water that I have inverted, it is coming back with a uppercase. So that is exactly what the code is doing. If you see here, it is taking the input, it is simply writing input dot over. So that is what the test result is showing and it got succeeded. Okay. So this is the way how you can simply create a uh, Lambda function in Visual Studio, deploy it using CLI command and open the Lambda function in your AWS console and test it. So, so far we have set up the prerequisites. We have used Visual Studio 2022 along with AWS Lambda templates to create a sample and a simple Lambda function which can return uppercase for the input text what you are giving right so now if you see here like what we have how we tested that particular lambda function is we simply deployed it into aws and then try to execute it right now if i want to deploy uh, execute the same thing and de debug say for example i keep a breakpoint here i try to execute right it will throw an error right this is expected because uh, it's a class library right how you can enable debugging in your local environment to have a debug points and see uh, execute your line of code uh, by inspecting a specific say for example if i want to see what is there in this input okay accordingly i want to add something if i want to do a breakpoint and inspect it right how i can set it up right so for that we have to use uh, uh, a tool okay so let's go to the tool so that is the tool uh, so the tool is amazon dot lambda dot test tool so we are using dot net 6.0 runtime so it is like hyphen 6.0 for those who are using dot net 3.1 they have the same testing tool hyphen 3.1 at the end okay so and once you do install that particular tool all you have to do is right click on your lab project properties go to debug now in this uh, window you will uh, see open debug launch profiles ui okay this is a sample lambda profile now this lambda profile value is nothing but where you actually can see in the uh, launch settings dot json now currently the launch setting dot json is not seen here but when you click on properties go here create a new profile select it as executable and even if you don't give any values also and click on close okay now you will see there is a new properties folder got created under that you will see launch settings.json okay in that now there are two profiles one is a sample lambda which is created by default when you created this project the second one is the profile that we created just now with the name called profile one where command name is executable now along with this there are three more important settings that has to be done in this launch settings.json to enable the debugging capability okay so the easiest way is go back to the properties click here go to profile for now just create all junk values okay so that you will get the exact keywords there okay now if you see here it has these three properties executable path command line args working directory you need to set up the right values for this so that you can select the profile execute it and debug it okay so these are the values we need to enter so first executable path is where this dotnet lambda test tool 6.0 is there like we have already seen that in the folder structure like it is going to be there in your user profile so that's what we are mentioning here with escape character for the backlash okay and then command line aux is taking the port on which it has to run in your local host but you can use any port if you want okay so there is no restriction okay it's your choice and the working directory is where where my runtime code is present like this is my bin where the what are the configuration that you want to give it like if debug or release and then in that dotnet 6.0 okay so uh, these are the settings that you need to make okay 
so now you can select the profile here the new profile what you created you can keep a breakpoint and start executing it okay you can clearly see that a aws mock lambda test tool has been opened is open and you can see this config file what is the function that is trying going to execute what is the profile what is the reason that you have entered or associated while creating this project and then you have your function input that you want to test okay so i'm saying hello guys okay i click on execute function now the system is coming into the code where i can clearly see what is the input that i have given if i want to inspect like this like if this is like a simple one but we are actually dealing with the uh, complex objects so for example you are using the uh, lambda function to connect to dynamodb and you are trying to get item of it and you want to inspect that particular item uh, hierarchy right we can easily use this by uh, setting up this wg environment you can easily inspect that specific environment and write your link link or generic collections accordingly okay so now i click on continue okay and i go here i can clearly see that my response is hello guys it came in back as uppercase now the log output is blank right now because there is no log that i am writing there but simply if i add a new log say for example context dot logger dot log the text input is okay so now i have added a new log entry okay now let us restart the service again okay i'll just enter i click on execute function i just press continue now you can see here the log output is appearing in this particular area now the same log will also appear when it when you deploy it you can see it in, in your view logs in cloudwatch okay so this is where your cloudwatch is in there okay this is like already existing one but when we deploy it and then we actually can see it in action okay so now you have set up a debugging environment and you have this updated code which actually has uh, a, a new log dot got added right so for example like we already have deployed this function handler right so we executed it once so let's go here and click logs in cloudwatch okay so as of now it has just only like start and then only that kind of uh, logs Okay, now we will deploy the uh, latest code. Okay, so I just remove the debug point. I just added the log uh, extra logger. There is nothing else added apart, the, apart from the previous deployed uh, lambda function. So I'm going to deploy this. I go to my command line from .NET. Okay, it publishes the code and deploys it. Okay, so now we go to your AWS Lambda functions, function handler. It just got updated 10 seconds ago. So I go here, click on test. I say. and click on test okay test got executed it got in caps now the log entry what we have written can be identified in the cloudwatch logs open the latest log 
okay you can see here the text input is all of that side so this entry came in after we added this value uh, in this line of code context.logger.log this is the way where you can write any debug logs that you want to write uh, to capture what is some critical areas which you want to monitor in the cloud watch log associated with any specific lambda function okay so said that we have covered how to uh, set up the debugging environment and we how you can test the lambda function from your local environment now now uh, just apart from pressing f5 and debugging and testing your lambda right you can also execute directly test tool dot 6.0 like just put this dot net hyphen lambda hyphen test of tool 6.0 in command prompt and when you execute right that also will actually mock your lambda function just that it will not uh, come to your breakpoints so if you have breakpoint it will not invoke that breakpoint but it will execute and it will give you the response along with the logs that if you are capturing anything right both can be used to test your uh, lambda in your local function one is using the command uh, with the tool directly or in your visual studio solution you can simply create a new profile and execute the source code with that new profile after making few settings in the launch settings.json.